Hello, plan friends. Hope you guys are all doing amazing out there in real life land. This episode is going to be about my favorite plant of all time. My most favorite is plant of them all, the philodendron variegated billeti. Well, why don't you rename your channel Legends of Variegated Philodendron Billeti then? Not going to do that. Way, way too lazy. Well, this episode is part of our Plants of Instagram series where I reached out and asked people to send me clips of various plants so I don't have to make my own content. <laughs> so, Jimmy, this is Ever here from Instagram at King Ever. That's K I N G E V E R, one word. I uh, wanted to introduce you and everyone out there to my variegated billeti. Uh, it's not the biggest specimen out there, but beautiful for sure. Um, got this from Indonesia, came in as a three leaf cutting. The leaves were about 11 inches. This one is 10 and a half. Um, one of them was broken in transit. One of them dried up on me. So only one of the leaves survived and uh, actually it almost died. I had snapped it, but uh, it was hanging by a thread. So what I did was uh, toothpicks, some saran wrap, and uh, you know, made a little splint for it, if you want to call it that. And uh, yeah, it's been three weeks since. Leaf looks good, survived. There's no noticeable damage uh, besides that big splint right there. <laughs> I was afraid this plant would have uh, root rotted on me. You know, I had a Thai constellation go through that on me. So, uh, yeah, with this plant being so such a rare plant, you know, I decided to try a different grow setup. I went with the passive hydroponic. Some people know it as a uh, semi hydroponic. Uh, you can use different media. I'm using pumice. You can use perlite, clay balls, cocoa, the chunks, not the uh, powdery stuff but yeah yeah basically the uh, pumice is gonna wake up the uh, water from the tray here it sits in the uh, tray full of nutrients that I mix um, I have my own recipe that I do for my deep water culture setup and that's the same blend that I use in here and all my other passive hydroponics uh, aeroids yeah the plants love it man um, so the media will maintain the perfect blend of oxygen and moisture regardless of the amount of fluid that you gave give it so uh, i've had this one filled up with the uh, nutrients for over a month already and uh, i accidentally filled it up but fortunately the pumice it maintains a perfect blend of oxygen since it's so porous um, yeah, the roots never rotted on me and uh, yeah, I'm just letting the uh, level kind of like go down to about maybe half an inch and try to maintain it there. That way, you know, they have more oxygen, but uh, yeah, the plants love it. Ever since I got this, uh, three leaves grew under my care. Uh, this one being the first one, let me show you, show it real quick. This one being the first one. Um, seller told me that uh, if I gave it a condition where the plant loves it, it'll reward me with uh, beautiful leaves. And this was the second one, you know, so hopefully it loves it. And then we have the third leaf coming out right here. Well, actually it came out, still uh, has maybe a few days to uh, hardened up, about a week or two, I don't know. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a full golden leaf you know um, a lot of people who uh, own this plant know that as the leaf comes out comes out yellow the variegation isn't too noticeable until the leaf hardens up that's when you start you know seeing all the beautiful textures and yeah but yeah this one looks to be uh, full yellow I don't see any signs of uh, variegation but still lovely plant this uh red dots right there they excrete uh nectar it's uh 
sticky fluid actually you know once in a while I'll come I'll dab it into my tongue and it's very sweet um, yeah variegated bilati new growth point right there plant loves it hasn't given me any issues I took it out of his pot maybe about a month ago and the roots look healthy like I said the setup right here you know I tried it out because I wanted to make sure that I had no root rot issues and seems to be fine this plant loves it as well Bellatine loves it for sure cutie quince loves it the king loves it queen loves it yeah man anyone out there who has any questions about this setup how to go about it you know feel free to contact me if you have any questions uh king ever at on instagram that's k-i-n-g e-v-e-r um beautiful plant peas y'all This is my variegated belly tie. There's a leaf that's unfurling. This is the newest leaf. The largest leaf is 23, 24 inches. Jimmy's plant friends. How are you guys doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, so for those of you who don't know me, hi, hello. My name is Nikki. Um, I have a channel here on YouTube called Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. Jimmy and I have talked a lot about this plant and how much we love it and how beautiful it is and it's definitely our favorites and on and on, you know, as plant people do. And uh, so when Jimmy reached out to me uh, last week and asked if I wanted to collaborate with him on a video about this plant, <laughs> I said I absolutely can, but to be honest with you, she's a little bit frustrating right now. So this is the beautiful Philodendron Billetai variegata or variegated Billetai. This plant last year was like on the tippy top of my wish list. I think you can see why. It is absolutely beautiful. So here's the thing. I bought last year um, just the green Billetai and I fell absolutely head over heels for this plant. It is a beautiful plant. It grows so nicely, so quickly, and it is probably the easiest plant in my collection. I mean, my entire collection <laughs> that thing just grows and looks stunning and beautiful and requires little to no intervention for me whatsoever except for a watering whenever i remember to water <laughs> um i'm kidding so she gets water right now about once a week once every week and a half or so i water it when the soil's dry let's be honest um anyway and i love that plant so much and if you already know me, you know that I love my variegated plants. I mean, who doesn't like a good variegated plant, right? And so I quickly became obsessed with trying to find this gorgeous variegated version. Now, I don't know if you know, but if you don't, these are number one, extremely hard to come by. Um, I live in Canada, which I, in my opinion, makes it even more hard to come by. Um, so trying to find one of these was difficult in itself. And trying to find one that's not going to literally make it so that I have to take out a bank loan, <laughs> it was another feat in itself. But I had these lovely friends who were propagating a few of them and they knew that I really wanted one. And so they were growing one for me and I thought that was so great. Um, I can't even imagine what these cost this year with the plant prices where they are right now. I honestly am so grateful that I found it last year. In any case, 
Finally, they contacted me, said, hey, Nikki, it's ready to go. And they sent it out to me and oh my goodness, I kind of lost my marbles a little. So I did an unboxing on my channel and it was just, it, it was, it was pretty epic. <laughs> In any case, so when I got this plant, it had this variegated leaf, which as you can see is a little hurting right now. And this big green leaf here. So, and then it had a teeny tiny little like sprout. I'm going to call it a sprout. It was a new growth point. Okay. So anyway, I waited and I waited and I waited for this new growth point to actually start forming <laughs> a leaf. And finally, after a few months, it started emerging. The leaf started emerging out of the sheath. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so nervous. And I'm watching it and I'm watching it because I want, obviously, that variegated leaf. So it came out and um, this was that leaf, this green one. And I was like, okay, okay, I can handle that. Because a lot of the time with these plants, you'll get like a variegated leaf and then a green leaf and then maybe another variegated and another green. So I knew that was the potential. Um, so <laughs> then I waited more months and more months. And then finally it started to shoot out another new growth and I was like, yay, okay. So Jordan and I were sitting and we were watching it. Jordan's my fiance. And we're like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be variegated. And then this leaf happened. Okay, okay. So this is the original leaf that was on the plant. And then it grew three green leaves back to back. <laughs> so that became a little bit of a concern for me because especially when you pay the price that you do for these plants, <clears throat> you want them to be variegated. I already have a gorgeous, big, beautiful green billetai. I don't need another one. I wanted a variegated one. Now I have a green one with one variegated leaf. Um, anyway, so Jimmy and I were kind of talking about that and he said, you know, he has seen it in, in uh, some people's collections where they will throw out multiple green leaves and then it'll turn back to variegated. Um, I'm really, really hoping that's the case um, because it's, it's so beautiful. Like, let me get you in close because I feel like the variegation on this side, this marbling is just beautiful. And ignore this. I'm honestly not entirely sure what happened. It just started doing it out of the blue. Nothing changed in my home. Um, so I have moved her to a different location. So hopefully that will help. Because if I lose that leaf, then let's be honest, I have another green billetai. If you want to get yourself a variegated billetai, um, just know that this does happen. It's got a new little growth. Oh, look, you've pained me enough. We don't need to physically hurt me as well. Um, so it has a new little growth point right here. So I would like all of you just to take a few seconds Cross your fingers, toes, and eyeballs, whatever you need to cross, in hopes that this new leaf is variegated because I might have a breakdown. It may happen. The plant is really easy to take care of. In all honesty, it is the same care as my uh, green billetai. Um, it requires little to no intervention from me whatsoever. Um, I water it when the soil's dry and it just is perky and happy and healthy with the exception of this which i'm still working on i think it might have been a little too far away from humidity um so i'm trying that now to try to correct that and see if that's the problem um because like i said i don't want to lose this leaf um but you know medium to bright indirect light and um just sit back and watch the beauty of green leaves <laughs> 
amazing plant. If you can get your hands on one, don't break the bank. Spend within your means. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that the plant prices will come back down soon to make these beautiful plants that we love so much more accessible to more people. Um, because the way it stands right now, if you're rich, you can afford plants. And if you're not, you're not. But I will say this is a great time to start doing plant trades. So, you know, you may have something in your collection that somebody else wants posted on Instagram. Hey, I've got such and such plants to trade. I'm looking for this and this and this. Does anybody want to trade? You know, and who knows what you may find. This is a great time for, you know, reaching out, making plant friends, doing trades and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, I find it so much fun. I've met all kinds of people doing plant trades and it's just the best. So, and you never know, you might think nobody's going to want to trade a variegated bilati. You honestly never know. Just put it out there, put it out there. You build it, they will come. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap it up because legit I can ramble forever. Um, so I want to thank Jimmy again. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for having me back on your channel. Um, there wasn't a whole lot that I could say about it, just about my experience with this plant and um, how wonderful yet frustrating this plant can be to own in your collection. So, and I'm sure that many other people have wonderful experiences where they get multiple variegated um, leaves, but we kind of just wanted to put this out there just so that you know this happens it happens it's plants it's nature life finds a way <laughs> if you've seen that movie before anyway so yes life does find a way and so i'm hoping life will find a way to give me another variegated leaf so and, and i'm rambling again <laughs> Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to hand this back over to Jimmy. Jimmy, again, thank you so much for having me back on your channel. It was wonderful. Love you guys to bitty bits. Go check me out at Plants, Pots, and Whatnots on YouTube. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, guys. Okay, here's Jimmy. Mwah! Thank you so much to everyone who contributed clips. Uh, guys, you know, definitely go and follow them on their social media and support them. And thank you for sharing uh, these clips with us. And uh, yeah, and if you guys want to share clips of your plants, um, you know, and just clips or you talking behind the camera, in front of the camera, other people talking, having your pets or kids or, you know, whatever you want. I am all about sharing anything that you guys want to share. Uh, I think it'll be great. Uh, reach out to me on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, and let's uh, share some plant joy together. Uh, that's it for this episode, guys. Till next time, happy planting.